out of your 17 men that have been worth pushing it in, five of them, that's their job. They're on your gun crew, literally to hold the gun in place. So as they're in that position, they will be watching other men and learning as they go. So you start off with that job role. That's your basic main job role. And as it goes on, as you progress, you might then train in the next position up. Uh, but you've already seen them do it quite a few times, so the training is very quick. And then the next step up from that, again, you're already watching other men do it. So it's a constant rotation of men, and you're working your way up the position points. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it will take a couple of years, but it's a couple of years to get to the day. I think you've got a second. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Marines work in the rifle guns, the Armstrong guns. They work by our Royal Marine Artillery Force. And then when you get across the walled off section, you'll find the cable deck, and that will be home to about 60 odd tri um, stokers and about six trimmers. Stokers work in the boilers downstairs, and trimmers working inside the coal bunkers, feeding the coal. So yeah, about 600 out of the full 705 crew will be living on this deck, from that wall to the front of the ship. This is where they live. Yes sir, yeah, I mean, as a, that's my table, that's my mess table, that's home to a minimum of 18 men, maximum of 24. It's where we eat, it's where we sleep. If anybody wants to try it, there's a hammock there that you can tell we eat and sleep, basically. Yeah. Mind your head as you stand, throw your bum in first, so basically falling back in it. There you go, swing your legs. Perfect. Quite good, won't it? Obviously the benefit of the hammock. 600 people in this, in this small area. What do you call the kitchen for in the Navy? Galley. Galley. Yeah. And what do you call the toilets in the Navy term? Head. Head. And they had, and they drank a lot of rum. Oh, like a baby. <laughs> this is tiny though. Engineers what? Engineer Smith. What is that? Uh, what is that the inside? Oh, probably So for yeah. What are these? Apparently, you have to walk backwards in the stairs. That's how you walk on the stairs on the boat. where they take a shower. What is that? Diver's helmet. Diver's helmet. More guns. Oh, what is that? That would have been probably powder or something. 
when they get something. I'm in the first thing in the morning. Can't do myself. <laughs> so what is the standard easy? Plus hot chocolate in the evening, so it is a little bad. Is that what you do then? Indeed, I'm midshipman off some training, but I'm currently in charge. The accounts. Look at their accommodation, there's all the offices. Different, right? Imagine me being an officer. And this one, third lieutenant's room. No, she's actually even if you've got the floor, you get a bed. Fifth Lieutenant, Captain of Marines. Let's see the Captain of Marines. This is how they have their dinner. Fragile, do not sit. Oh my god. Ah, they use silver as well. Captain, Captain Hershey. One other thing that they do in there is they carry a candle. Can't see where this is going, can you? You carry a candle, you're walking on top of 156 tons of coal. Now we need to get to the oil lamp. We actually said that the oil lamp is more expensive than a man's life. Come with a candle. Gas methane. You're carrying a candle, you walk into a pocket of methane. Lovely pink explosion. It's like a firework there, but uh, you do end up with your tumor stuck in an awful wall because you're bunched up. Such a dangerous job, if they don't come out at the end of their four hour watch, you just presume they're dead. You don't send a man in to look for him, you send a man in to continue the work he was doing, but you know, he might scrape him off the wall with his shovel, but if he can't look at himself, what can we do for him? Yeah, tough life, that. We did have one of the uh, one of the actual pass away a while back, Captain Phillips. He'd be shoving a ton of coal an hour for three, four hours. And it was about 53 degrees down here that day, so not too bad. Quite cool in comparison to some days. Now he collapsed some of the heating That's pathetic, isn't it? Now the surgeon, Mr. Wells, he's an officer and a gentleman, he wouldn't come down here, no, no, no. Wouldn't get his boots scuffed on the coal, he'd get himself grubby. This is for your. Your lower classes and your middle classes like myself, the officers don't come down here much. So he ordered us to carry him up onto the top deck. We carried them up, stripped him naked, they ran the rain, so he cooled down. And so he gave him a pint of seawater to drink. Yeah. Now I'm not a medical man, but he was alive before he was 